Good morning, guys. How are we all doing? Happy Monday, everybody. Welcome to the new trading week. I am Dan from Trading with Dan. This is our Bitcoin morning update. So if you guys wouldn't mind smashing that like button, we shall go straight over to those Bitcoin four hour charts. So yes, Bitcoin on the four hour. Um, we have managed to have a break up here. As you can see, we had this wick up, uh, rejected back down. Um, and now we've managed to close the candle above this uh, above this resistance area, uh, which is obviously a good a good sign. We are now uh, trading above that. So yeah, if we can hold up here, obviously we've got uh, a few couple more levels of resistance to the upside, and then it is relatively a it's relatively a straight shot towards uh, thirty thousand. If that is going to happen, I'm sure it's not going to happen like in the next week, but it could uh, it could actually happen over like say the next month or so, say four or five or six weeks. Uh, we can't find ourselves selves, um, stair stepping up uh, up towards that thirty thousand dollar level. Obviously, that's uh, if risk assets are to uh, to continue uh, with a bit of bullish momentum. If you want to go and have a look at uh, stock market, this is quite clearly looking very good here, uh, looking particularly good for this being a relative uh, higher low to these lows uh, which then obviously gives us a, a high a very like high likelihood of this low being in this is basically exactly what we want to see after we made this uh, low we then wanted to see a decent rally that rally then have a decent pullback but not take out the lows and then turn back up and take out that high and then once we take out that high here uh, we then are in effect in a in a in a weekly uptrend uptrend in a higher time frame uptrend and it, it would be extremely likely that this this low is in I personally think it's extremely likely that this low is already in and have been saying so um, when we were well approaching the top of this bounce however um, this pullback obviously was a bit a bit worrisome uh, particularly getting below this important level of support um, because it meant the only next level was basically the lows so uh, wouldn't be a a a a, a humongous uh, uh, effort from the bears to actually push us through uh, those lows if we were to test down there, even if it was just a liquidity hunt to put in a double bottom or or worse. But it would have been a relatively um, you would have thought it'd be a relatively uh, a relatively easy trade. No, no easy trades, but the bears could have taken control at that point. So to not really get there, get nicely above this uh, up this support level here. Uh, and then start heading towards our next levels is obviously good to see but like I said um, we're not potentially in the clear um, for new lows uh, until we take out this high basically uh, that would be uh, my opinion um, to give us like a very very high conviction that this is the low so um, yeah all being said stock's been looking good at the moment obviously a lot of this is off the back of this uh, this move down the DXY for check back check pay check uh, and is below this now. So basically the next level of support is down here uh, with the lower side of around 105 So That's basically the target at the moment uh, around 105 <clears throat> Do we bounce there? Do we kind of trade sideways come back up and test up to near 109 and then decide if you're breaking back above or whether we're going to come back down We shall see or do we then or do we actually trade through this level and start coming down for some lower lower prices? But um, I mean we still kind of got to look at this overall trend as quite bullish however um, this is this is just uh, this is uh, a disgusting move, and it isn't acceptable of the World Reserve currency <laughs> to do this. Uh, the rest of the world can't cope. Um, so, in the interest of their global financial stability, this has to come down. So, I mean, how can it keep going up forever? Um, not in obviously, uh, not obviously, just under the circumstances that I just said. So, yeah, it's good to see it coming down, and this is obviously helping risk assets, and it has obviously got quite a long way to come down if it does want to come and test a substantially lower if we kind of look at this whole this whole one uptrend move uh, to then have to have a decent pullback even if then we put in a higher low even around uh, this 96 uh, 96 and then turn back up and take out the highs um, I mean yeah I mean you just got to look at that in the context of the of the larger move that we've had which has pretty much been a re relative straight shot up if we if we look at it uh, and a larger time frame 10 year though not really playing ball here um, 10 year has not um, not lost this uh, not lost this level I mean the 10 year uh, 10 year yields tend to be a reflection of markets uh, of what markets think uh, interest rates should be and what uh, inflation and all that fun stuff uh, the the shorter that's why and obviously two years short is, is more a representation of what like people think the Fed will be doing uh, the Fed control the front end and obviously markets control the long end pretty much 
Uh, if you try and control the long end like Japan does, then um, it gets uh, it gets a bit difficult. This also is looking like it could have had this last squeeze up now. So if this does trade down, obviously a weakening dollar will help this trade down because obviously this is the dollar against it. So <laughs> kind of goes without saying. Um, but yeah, um, to get this down coming down no more substantially, we do need a reversal in this uh, ten year yield sell off or the ten year yield going up as in a sell off in the bonds. If we break this and start to come down, that will be the point that I do think dollar index could accelerate more to the downside and also the uh, this uh, Japanese yen could sort itself out, which then could obviously help the Chinese, um, Chinese yuan, um, which is weakening as well. Um, and then uh, and then if that, so that starts to strengthen, the, a lot of these trends reverse. I mean, obviously we could expect a, a pretty significant rally in risk assets. So uh, yeah, interesting stuff there. Um, gold, not a lot to look at there. Uh, not looked at Nascoin for a while. Um, looking pretty similar to the S&P. Bitcoin dominance though, if you have a look at that, that did obviously hit our macro major, major important level. So um, yeah, one of the most important levels for this asset. If we actually uh, go on a higher time frame, as you can see, very important level. Um, so to have a bounce here, completely, uh, completely understandable. Um, so yeah, that is that is happening. Um, so do we basically come back, test this old resist, sorry, old support, new resistance, and turn back down, and then have another sh shoot down here, potentially, potentially, or does it just reverse and continue up? Obviously, we've got the merge coming this week. So um, if that is indeed a buy the rumor, sell the fact, um, obviously you know my opinions on that. But if it is to be that case, then yeah, I mean we could expect this to obviously uh, Bitcoin to then outperform Ethereum. If we look at the Ethereum Satoshi pairing. Um, I mean, you can kind of see we just kind of trade sideways within like a wider range here, hit the top of the range, having a bit of a pullback. So uh, we we'll have to see what happens here. But um, but yeah, clearly Bitcoin is uh, is uh, is getting moving. What kind of happened though with Bitcoin um, is that you can see we broke above here and we accelerated Ethereum. The Ethereum USD pairing was basically hitting into resistance levels um, on this move. So it was, uh, obviously this, this latest spate of, um, upward fiat price values for crypto. Um, Ethereum has, has obviously had more resistance levels to, to struggle with. Whereas Bitcoin, once it got a back up of here was pretty much a straight shot to the next resistance level. Um, anything, anything else? No, not much, not much else to want to look on here. Um, so stochastic short time frames are probably going to be getting a bit extended. You can see four hour is coming down from a particularly high level here. Uh, not really seen that high a level since uh, March. Uh, 12 hour uh, getting very toppy here. Like not seeing this this as high as this since uh, yeah around uh, around uh, February. So these are high levels for this to come down from um, daily. <clears throat> if this wants to load, uh, still got a bit of juice left in this one. Uh, then by daily though, this is obviously where the higher time frames uh, can start to take over, which could then obviously put us on that trend of uh, of the low being in and, and basically pullbacks been there to be bought. Um, by daily, obviously all the all the all the pitch to run into three day turned up all all the all the all the all the all the field to run into uh, five day turning up again as well, looking looking like a relatively good read for more upside. Um, weekly, I just uh, I don't know what weekly is doing. Well, why it doesn't want to appear? Uh, five day weekly, yeah, weekly does just some, oh here we go. Yeah, weekly turning up. <clears throat> we'll have a trend line to hit into as well. Break above that, we could be looking very good, even bi weekly. I don't know how long we're gonna have to wait for this, but even bi weekly. Um, <laughs> come on, hurry up. Weekly, bi weekly. Come on, show yourself. Uh, Monthly, monthly still coming down though, losing a bit of that downward uh, momentum and at a low level. So obviously, <laughs> it's just potential for that. But weekly doesn't want to show itself, but it is turning up from a low level. Um, so yeah, I mean, the higher time frames are looking like if they do get going, price action gets going, we could have some serious, um, um, serious uh, momentum stochastic support here um, to basically, uh, like I said, for dips to be bought. And just to continue meandering up in our in 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 the fashion that markets meander up in, um, can that get us to thirty thousand? Pretty pretty easily, I would say, based on these higher time frame stochastics. If we get going, obviously, just the uh, just the uh, the matter of this uh, next level of resistance, and then probably call it, could probably say these highs as well. Uh, but then, yeah, onwards and upwards. So, not looking too bad. Obviously, we have got the CPI. I believe it's tomorrow. 
Um, and obviously, if that could just come in bad, then we are going to be there. Is uh, the market is obviously pricing a lot of good things here at the moment from CPI? It would seem so. If CPI comes in back bad, um, I would I would literally ex expect um, S and P to come basically test it all, all the way down towards this low and potentially even take it out. So um, yeah, uh, maybe not in one candle, but over the course of like the next week. Um, but obviously, if things are okay, things are what are relatively expected, then yep, we can just continue doing what we do. And I think if it comes even lower, which I think is a possibility, uh, that we do actually uh, come in lower than the market expectation, um, which may be what the market is reading into anyway. So whatever the ex expected statistics, whatever the expected are, the official expected ones from like the the surveys. Um, maybe we, maybe the market is still expecting it to beat that number as well to the downside. So then, yeah, um, if that happens, then yeah, I mean, continue our rally. If we beat it by a lot, then yeah, we'll go, we'll go on a mad one. So, but either way, either way, we've got to get stocks above forty three hundred before, um, before we can really start to like, uh, I decide that we're probably not going to take out this low, and we are, gonna, we are basically entering a new bull market. Um, Obviously, it's always darkest before dawn. There's a lot of it. There's a lot of fud and fear about. Uh, but have we reached peak fear? Markets are forward looking. Is there much more that can be sp any more spanners that can be thrown into this works? Um, who who really knows? But um, there are obviously are some. There are there are inherently black swans out there that we won't see. But there are conflicts uh, out there brewing. Uh, there are things that could happen, but we already have a conflict, an important conflict going on in the world now. So obviously if that is going on, um, there is obviously the risk of that uh, stopping going on, which would obviously be very bullish as well. So uh, yeah, there we go. Remember, this is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. Um, happy Monday again, everybody. Uh, remember, this is not a financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. Always do your own research and I shall speak to you fine people soon.